So what do you make of April home prices being up six tenths of one percent, roughly 0.57 percent? A well, bit faster than March, but go on. The, the monthly numbers jump around quite a lot, as we know, but I think it's very clear to say that, uh, that the, the market is slowing and most of the metrics that we look at are certainly in prices in terms of square footage of properties sold is actually flat year over year. Uh, prices are still edging up in the aggregate across the 70 major cities of about 5.5% per annum compared to a year Shanghai ago. And we've got Shanghai and Beijing April new home prices on the new home prices, two yes. tenths of one percent up in Beijing and one tenth of one percent down month on month in Shanghai. Yeah, the tier one cities of uh, the four major tier one cities actually were on a tear about two years ago. Shenzhen was up 50 oh, percent a year. Completely. It was complete mayhem. Yeah. And of course, that's all slowed down dramatically. And it's the second tier and third tier cities which are now playing catch up. And you're still seeing quite modest but decent upticks in prices in the tier three cities, which which really uh, have been using up their inventory and catching up with is the big, that, big cities. Is that a move from the tier one? cities from speculators not looking there but looking at these cities and what, what are the key drivers well I think one of the things here is that that uh, urbanization is a key theme in China as we know uh, urbanization is about 56 percent right now heading towards 70 percent and I think a, a lot of people are moving uh, are choosing to move into the, the the tier two and tier three cities rather than head to Beijing and Shanghai and Shenzhen where property prices are so high so I think we are seeing a genuine end-user demand in the tier two cities. I think in the tier one cities, a lot of that is speculative demand rather than genuine end user demand.